Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Miles from Pure Investments, and today I'm here with a guide on how to use Ether Delta. Um, this has been a big request from many users recently, as um, I understand Ether Delta is a very hard to use or understand exchange. Um, but it is one of the most powerful exchanges because it offers very early access to a lot of Ethereum based tokens. Um, with about 70% of um, coins on the market right now being Ethereum based, you definitely want to be on this exchange to catch the early deals on coins that could potentially go huge. So, nevertheless, here is our tutorial on how to use Ether Delta. So first of all, you're going to want to download this Chrome extension called MetaMask. Um, you may or may not have heard of it yet, I'm going to throw a link in the description, but basically this is like an online wallet which you can easily access through Google Chrome. Um, you can download either a Chrome extension or they have the feature to use MetaMask on Brave Browser. I personally use the Chrome extension because it's easier to use. Um, and this is what the um, interface looks like on Google Chrome. So. Once you've downloaded MetaMask, it's going to ask you to set up a wallet and it's going to give you a private key. This, um, it's also going to give you a set of characters, also known as a seed. This is very important because if you ever lose access to the wallet, you're going to need the seed in order to recover the wallet. So, they're going to give you a string of text to copy and paste onto somewhere. I would put it on a text file and store it somewhere deep in your computer under lock or I'd write it in person, maybe put it in a drawer or a safe. Um, this is basically your access key to get onto your account, so make sure you do not lose the seed. Once you're all set up, you receive um, this interface um, which has all the information you really need. Um, I actually had a really great day today because I found a seat on my desktop which had 0.7 Ethereum, which I didn't even know I had, but I guess I put this on MetaMask during the summer when I wanted to buy an ICO, but I ended up not buying the ICO, but I guess the value of this skyrocketed a bit, which is nice. So basically, once we're all set up on MetaMask, we're going to head over to the Ether Delta website. Um, I have an official link in the video description. Please, as always, make sure you're using the official URL. Um, there's many phishing reports for sites like um, Ether Delta, so you gotta be very careful. Now, this is a part a lot of people get confused on, so as you can see down here, um, I already have my MetaMask link to Ether Delta, and I'm not going to add it on this video just to keep my private um, keys safe. But um, you'll notice that there's not really an easy way to deposit funds onto Ether Delta. So, what MetaMask does is it lets you sync your wallet with the website so it's very easy to access funds and transfer them to other places. So, what you want to do is you want to click this box in the upper right corner. You're going to want to click import account. So here you got to put in your public address and your private key. So this is where you can find the information. Open up MetaMask and then you have the copy address to clipboard option. That's going to be your public address which you're going to put here. And then export private key, you're going to have to input your password because this is a very important key that gives you access to the wallet and you're going to want to paste it into here and click import account. So again, just to make this clear, this goes here and this goes here. Um, you can share your public address if you want. Um, there's no really risk with that, um, but make sure you keep your private key private because um, that can lead to someone getting unwanted access to your wallet, so be very careful. So, once you have that imported, Ether Delta is going to realize you have MetaMask. Um, as you can see, it says MetaMask here. If I want to import more stuff, um, even your Ledger Nano, um, 
I own one of them, but I don't have it linked to After Delta. But um, they make it very easy to add multiple accounts um, and wallets to here. So, without further ado, let's make some deposits. So, once you have your MetaMask set up and it's imported, your wallet balance is going to change depending on how much money you have on your MetaMask. So, as you can see, there's the wallet column and the Ether Delta column. And people get very, very confused with this, so let me step through it. The wallet um, balance is what you have in your wallet. So, MetaMask is my current wallet. So, this is basically this 0.7 Ethereum that is what I have in my MetaMask wallet. Over here, it says I have 0 Ethereum on Ether Delta. That is true. I have no Ethereum currently on Ether Delta. So, if I want to make a transaction, I'm going to have to deposit Ethereum. So, let's say I want to put 0.01 Ethereum onto my account. I'm going to put that amount, click deposit, and MetaMask is going to pop up. Aha! I want to send 1150 worth of Ethereum. I always set my. Um, GWEI. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that, but I always set it to 12 and then I say 125,000 units um, for my gas limit. These are. These numbers don't really matter. You want to set a higher gas price if you want your transaction to go through faster, but it's going to cost more money. So the limit limits how much you actually spend on gas. Um, and the gas price. If you want a faster transaction, I recommend 12. I personally think 3 and 4 is a bit too slow, but I also like making my trades very fast and efficiently to beat out other people. So, this will calculate it for you. You click submit, and then it gives you progress for tracking the transaction on Etherscan. Keep in mind, this is Ethereum. Ethereum is significantly faster than Bitcoin, so I don't need to cut out of this video to see it show up on the website. Let's see what is going on here. I'll give us a quick minute and explain a couple other features. So while we're waiting, there's the same process. You can withdraw. This would move stuff from Ether Delta onto your wallet. Um, fairly straightforward. And then transfer. You can just transfer a certain amount that you have on your wallet or Ether Delta to a certain address. So, as we can see, Ethereum, the clearly superior currency, um, has already completed this transaction with a small, very small fee. I think like a tenth of what I would pay for Bitcoin. So now, I have that 0.01 Ethereum on my Ether Delta wallet and I'm ready to make a purchase. So, I could either set a buy order down here. I can say, I want to buy 10 lend for let's say 0.000145 and or let's see let's buy a bit more so it looks like I can buy about yep 70 lend if I wanted to and that would put an order in at this price however I want to show you guys what it looks like to interact with the order book so I'm just gonna buy the lowest sell offer even though it's kind of a ripoff let's just see where this takes us so you can input how much you want to buy let's say I just want to buy 20 units you click buy same thing pops up I'm gonna say 12 for my gas price and set my gas limit to 125,000 send that so basically, this is a decentralized um, exchange, there's no third party in this, um, no system 
automatically handling the transactions, so you have to manually do a transaction for each of these cases. Um, so when you buy or you sell, you have to do a transaction, and this is where people get very confused. Um, my transaction just went through, so I bought 20 lend for 0 0.003 Ethereum. So let's see. Um, might have to refresh this. And there we go. I have 20 lens. So, basically selling is the same thing. I want to show an example of setting an order that doesn't go through instantly. So, let's say I see this price, 150000 and I want to sell it for a bit lower. So let's enter the amount. I want to sell 20. I want to sell it for, let's see, 150,000. And then I click the sell button. Okay. So once this uh, finishes processing, it's going to show up in the order book should take again 30 seconds or so um, compared to the slow 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 speeds of Bitcoin and let's see where that takes us in the meantime you can look down here we have um, trades we've made that shows all the details orders that are existing again we need the transaction to go through before it shows the order and your funding so deposits and withdrawals Okay, so the transaction process, and now we can see my order of 20 lend is for sale here at 150,000. So, we see in my order here, if I want to cancel, it can cancel. This is how many blocks it expires in. Um, you could set that higher if you want to, but let's assume this sells. Um, and I want to withdraw the remaining amount I have on Ether Delta. So that would be 0.007 ETH. So I'm going to put 0.007. I'm going to click withdraw. Again, 12 and 125,000. And let's submit this. So this will put the 0.007 back onto my MetaMask wallet. And if I want to move from, um, also, good thing about MetaMask is it shows all of your recent transactions. <laughs> this is a good track log of what's going on. As you can see, I have a pending transaction. This is my withdrawal back onto my account. And if you want to move it to Coinbase or another exchange uh, wallet or such, um, you can type in an address, you can predefine addresses you send often to and you can send the amount the cool thing about metamask as well while I'm at it is that you can add multiple ethereum based tokens I've used this for CND I've used this for plenty um, in my trading experiences so um that's all you really need to know about Ether Delta if you have any questions please feel free to drop a comment subscribe like our video we could use more publicity for Ethereum and Ethereum-based exchanges, so please tell your friends about these videos. Um, I'd like to help educate people on how to use these services, as they can be a bit complex to use and a bit confusing, but nevertheless, they're um, very useful and a good opportunity to make a lot of money. Stay tuned for the next video. Good night.